Hello and welcome back today. We are going to play some X Zodiac. Uh, you may remember, if you were around a couple years ago, that I played a uh, an early demo version of this game. I uh, did a video on it back when X Zodiac was up on Kickstarter. Well, that Kickstarter was successful, which I'm not surprised by because this game is awesome. But we're back here playing it again because today it released on early access on Steam. And I know that a bunch of stuff has been added and changed since the last time I played it. So I want to check it out now, see what's new. I know there's new levels, some new music, see what else has changed. And overall, I'm just really excited about it. So if you want to play it for yourself, I will leave a link down in the description so you can check out the early access page. Uh, but for now, let's check this out. Ooh, look at all those missions. So yeah, last time when I played, we played Allura, and then the second level, I don't even remember what it was called. It was like the the ice level. You're like going on a snow planet, and then you also went under, like inside mountains where there was lava, and it was really cool. That might be the second level still, but the rest of these I uh, have never seen. So we got to start at Allura. Oh, this looks beautiful. I love it. Uh, the forests of Allura are under attack. Find out who's responsible and put an end to the destruction before it's too late. I love the little planet spinning there. If you didn't watch me play this back uh, for the Kickstarter launch, this is nice. A Star Fox style game, like the old Super Nintendo Star Fox. Ah, oh, this, <laughs> this looks amazing. Whoa! All right, and we can barrel roll. Awesome. So yeah, I'm I'm noticing. Uh, well, first of all, the the people talking there at the bottom that's new since last time. I always love that. There's new effects going on with the explosions and power ups and stuff. Data. Oh no, I missed it. I don't know what that is. Ow. What the heck is this thing? Woo. It's like a headless chicken. It really was. Get this bomb. Should we use a bomb? Whoa. Yeah, so like last time I played this, um, you know, the the basics were there. But this just seems so much more polished than it was. You know, lots of little touches. It feels great. Ooh. All right, if I hold down the laser button, it changes to this. There we go. Yeah, seeking missiles. Oh! Awesome. What? They're cutting down the windmills, not on my watch. Well, okay, they did it on my watch, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Great, another chicken. I love the effect on their uh, pictures when they're talking. You see that? Like visual static. It looks, it looks really good. Here we go. Oh, you want to get cut down like the trees? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, because in the in the previous demo we had to fight this scorpion, but there wasn't anybody driving it. <laughs> it's ranger time, boys! Oh, I love this guy. Gives the bosses a lot of personality. Now, barrel rolling, does it deflect these attacks? It does. Pushes them away. Whoop. Get out of here. There we go. 
Do I have to shoot him in the tail? Can I lock on? I should probably be doing that. Ow. Yeah. Come on now. There it is. This isn't over. You'll never stop, Zodiac. No, oh, and he just disappeared. <laughs> I wanted there to be a big explosion. Perhaps later. The backgrounds, the sky looks beautiful. This is great. A B? All right. That's fine. It's my first time. Moving on over to... Where? Ignice. Yeah, I think this is the one we played last time. As well. Unusually high levels of seismic activity have been detected on the planet's surface. We suspect Zodiac is behind this, so proceed with caution. So this is Ignice, huh? Now, I didn't keep my double laser, I think. And I think this song is new since last time as well. But it's really fun to play. It behaves exactly how you would expect it to. Everything looks great. Love the music. I'm really excited to see the new planets because I've only seen like, you know, short clips of them from uh, like Twitter and stuff. Ow, that guy really got me. We can boost, oh geez, I wanted to try out the boost and the break. That effect is really cool. Here we go, into the cave. Yeah, whoa, what the heck, there's lava in here. <laughs> it is cool. A little break there for you. Yeah, we don't want to get drilled, that's for sure. Oh, jeez. I fell for that one. You got me. A little checkpoint. Beautiful. That boosting effect looks so good. I'm really hoping that at some point, if it's not in the game right now, that uh, there's some sort of like warping animation where it looks like that, you know? Like, if you think back to Star Fox 64, there were a couple times when you got to take like wormholes uh, to warp to different levels. And it'd be cool if you could go through those and it'd be like, you know, the whole time. Just because I like the effects so much. Oh, I am getting beat up. I need to repair. Boom! Bombs are amazing. Ow, I am gonna explode. There we go. Feeling a little better. Here we go. I don't appreciate having to surface this thing. It's freezing up here. Really like the new uh, enemy characters. <laughs> Allow me to show you the raw energy contained within this planet. Ben, I am available for voice work. If you want me to make some weird animal voices. Ah! Maybe you should turn back while you still can. I would practice more. I promise. Ooh! Can I beat this thing without dying? That's the question. 
<laughs> oh, I took that one right in the face. Oh yeah, and, if, and so as you take these pieces out, there's less of the big fire missiles and things. All right, what's left? Don't kill me. You did a lot more damage than I expected. Oh jeez, I don't like the sound of that. No, I'm gonna die. Oh jeez, that was close. Get out of here, snake face. I've almost got him. Zodiac will make you pay for this. was one step away from death. How do we do? I see, even worse. Even worse than last time. <laughs> okay, you know, let's do one more level this time, and next time, I'll try and do the remaining levels. Euclides. So this one's brand new for me. I don't even know what it's like. The remains of the shattered planet Euclides. Activity in this region is generally unheard of and may be the result of an illegal mining operation. Okay, I'm excited. Let's see it. Shouldn't there be a planet here? Ah, yeah, asteroid belt level. And yeah, so I don't know much about the, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that you can destroy the brown rocks, that's what I was looking for. Um, I don't know much about the story of this game yet. Obviously there's a bad guy called Zodiac. There's a bunch of, uh, animal people, and most of them are evil so far, that we've seen. Uh, our pilot's name is Q. And then the other person we've been talking to is new, I don't know much about them. Our handler. But yeah, I, I do want to see more of the people, learn more about them as well. Oh, jeez, what was that? An extra missile. Oh, then can I lock on with more missiles? I see. There, I got some data. Sorry, when I said extra missile before, I thought that it was giving me bombs. But that is different. Unless you lock on more, which is cool. What the heck? Did they bore a hole into this asteroid? So yeah, I wonder if in the final game, if you'll keep your power-ups between levels, or if it resets every time, you know? Like, will you have to build up your missiles each level, or will you, will you keep them as you go through them? Some weird enemies in here. Those bombs are hardcore. It's like the, one of the best bomb uh, attacks I've ever seen. Just because of how big it is, I think. Give me that laser, there we go. Woo! Not falling for that again. Yeah! Woo. 
extra missile. <laughs> I appreciate there being a checkpoint before the boss. That's really nice. All right, this one's new. Who is it? Whoa! The Rock Crusher. Ah! I thought the I thought the the Rock was gonna turn into a robot. You got me. Woo! Oh, that's cool. This is a cool boss. Exploding those rocks is like a great attack. Ah! <laughs> you dirty apes! Is it like apes against the world? Oh my god! Okay, didn't expect him to just come chomping after me. This guy's crazy. Ah, uh, I'm stressed out. Ah. Come on. Oh, I love that. Come on now. Get out of here. No, come on. Ah! Why am I always almost dead? The missiles aren't hitting. There we go. Woof. That's amazing. Jeez. That was probably my favorite boss so far, but they've all been good. Oh, why am I always on the brink of death? It stresses me out. Let's see, uh, I really need to improve. Drone core hardware detected. What? What is this? A bonus level? Oh, look, we're cute. Ow! Oh, look at this! Right, I... Ow! Okay, that didn't work. I saw some, uh... Screenshots of this, but I didn't know what it was yet. So if you get the data, you get to do a bonus level? Ow! Against some Malai. Ah! I am not good at this. Get hit by everything. I know there's an old, like, Sega game that's the same style as this, but I, I don't think I ever played it, so I don't remember what the name is. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's really cool, though. I wonder if we get to the end, if we get something? Love the rainbow bullets. Very exciting. Ah, I was getting a little better. Very interesting. So what is the point of getting the data and doing that? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to take a break for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know that, you know, this time we played two levels we had played before, but they they were so much better this time than they were in the demo. And then that last level in the asteroid belt was so cool. I love that boss. So we'll be back real soon, probably tomorrow. Uh, and we'll play these other three levels, and then it looks like the rest is still under construction. But this is going to be all new for me, so I'm very excited. Make sure you check out X Zodiac on Steam. I'll have a link down below if you want to uh, get the early access and try it for yourself. I will see you next time.